Hi, this is Veronica Wasek with the 5MinuteBookkeeping.com blog where we show you how to minimize bookkeeping and maximize profits. What is a chart of accounts? It's a great question. And um, I get a lot of questions about what a chart of account is and about customizing a chart of accounts, especially in QuickBooks Online, which is what I specialize in. So a chart of accounts is basically a way to categorize transactions in QuickBooks. Um, this is the software that I use. So I'll talk about QuickBooks and QuickBooks Online. So chart of accounts is a way to categorize transactions in QuickBooks. And every transaction needs a category. So think of a closet. Um, if you had a well-organized closet, all of your clothing would go into specific areas of a closet and they might be categorized uh, maybe by color, maybe by you know the sweaters, the pants, and the the dresses go in different parts of your closet. So think of your chart of accounts as a closet and the fact that then every transaction in QuickBooks needs to be assigned a category. Now, how do you know whether you need more categories or less categories? It all depends on your business and the kind of information that you want to see in your reports, mainly your balance sheet and your profit and loss. So all of the accounts that are on the chart of accounts actually end up being shown on the balance sheet and the profit and loss. So again, depending on how much detail you want to see in those reports, that would then uh, affect how you want to set up the chart of accounts. I get asked a lot, do I need to add lots of accounts to the chart of accounts or can I keep it more concise? I generally, advise clients to find a happy medium. So for example, I had a client who wanted to track the cost of very specific office supplies and she wanted to set up sub accounts for, for paper, for um, staples, for, for pens. And, and I said, you know, that's a little too much. Why don't you just track your office supplies maybe by the most, uh, by the highest expenses that you have? So um, you don't want to have so much detail that your profit and loss report or your chart of accounts gets so cluttered. Another question I'm asked is, uh, can I delete an account from the chart of accounts? And you can, you just have to be careful whether that account has activity in it or not. So you can delete an account from the chart of accounts if it's a profit and loss account keeping in mind that the, uh, the, the transactions that are in that account are not deleted. So you're basically just taking that account name from your list of accounts. So you don't see it again, but if you run a report, then you'll see um, the, uh, that activity uh, for that account in your reports. For a balance sheet account though, if you delete that account, what it does in QuickBooks Online is that it actually zeroes out the account and enters a transaction in an account called opening balance equity. So you don't want to delete a balance sheet account that has activity. I'm also asked, can you add accounts to the chart of accounts? Or can you edit accounts in the chart of accounts? And you certainly can. You can add accounts. Again, keep in mind, don't add too many accounts. Don't make that chart of accounts so big. Um, and then you can also edit accounts uh, if you need to maybe edit the name of an account. I hope you found this helpful. I'm Veronica Wasek with the 5MinuteBookkeeping.com blog. Visit my blog for free QuickBooks online training, tips, tricks, and tutorials. And check out my description box below for free resources. If you find this content helpful, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Bye.